Hello and welcome everybody to 1999. Yes, this is a 2001 golf cart, I get that. But in 1999, Payne Stewart, the late Payne Stewart tragedy, the late Payne Stewart won the US Open. Now, he also won the US Open back in 1991 and in 99. And the question that everybody asks is why Payne Stewart is so awesome. Well, have you seen his par three antics during the Masters? I mean, it was just, entertainment gold. I mean, he really knew that he was a performer and he loved to entertain. And just his personality was just dripping, you know, family and fun. And it was just a, he's just a fun character. He was a really fun character on the PGA Tour, sadly missing. And he used to dress, you know, I don't know if you can see here in this picture, but he used to dress like a champion. You know what I mean? It was just a lot of fun. And in 1999, when he won the US Open, do you know what putter he was using? Can you see more here? The Seymour putter. So I have a couple, I have several of these. I have like a couple more kicking around. I think they're in storage. And these putters remind me of 1999, US Open, Pinehurst. Pinehurst is awesome. It's like, let's take a ping pong ball and put the green on top of a ping pong ball. So if it rolls anywhere besides dead center, it's just gonna roll on off that green. And they're like tiny, it was really interesting Pinehurst. So when I think of 1999 US Open, Pinehurst, and this putter, this putter is really strongly connected with the year 1999 for me personally. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hopefully you're not, you don't just think of, I mean like my family wasn't huge into golf. So hopefully when you think of the Seymour putter, you're thinking of your family and happy memories that you've made rather than the US Open at Pinehurst when Payne Stewart won. But for me, absolutely tied to that year. Let's get it on the review table and show you some identifying features. This reminds me of like a Simpsons, like crank call, like to Moe's. I want to see more, first name Seymour, last name Butts. Hey guys, I want to see more Butts. You're like, ah, ha, ha. the Seymour FGP. I'm not sure if that's going to show up right there. Interesting dual cavity on either side. You can see that it is layered. So kind of a cutout right here, but then there's another cavity here, solid section here where the shaft is obviously gonna be mounted. And then kind of a similar thing on the back. The You can look at the heel profile right here, little cutout, the lovely face. In this case, it's a bra, brass, bronze, brass face it looks like. And on the side, you know, the toe profile, very similar to the heel profile. At a dress, this is kind of the key point of this putter is that this, and you can see the shaft right here is painted black and you can see where it's obviously the paint has chipped off on this particular individual club. But the point of this putter is that when you line up, this red dot is supposed to be covered by the shaft. And then you know that you're aligned. When I first picked up this putter, I noticed that I put with my face slightly closed. I learned that with this putter. So I can see how this could help. That's the idea behind this. So very interesting. I kind of like that alignment method. It's pretty cool. And then as we move up the shaft, you can see, like I mentioned, it's just inserted right here. As far as like toe hang, it is, you know, favors that toe. And then painted black for the first, what is this, maybe eight inches. And then you hit this stepless silver shaft. I put this little sticker on here just to remind me of the year 1999. And this one has an aftermarket grip on it. I actually have another one right here with the original Seymour putter grip, which is just kind of, what do they call these, a paddle grip or something? On here it says Golf Pride made in the USA. That's not in focus, but it does say that. And that's what the original one looks like. So the next thing to do is get this out on the green and see how it putts.
I pulled both of them out here so you can see both Seymour fun putters. Obviously this one is black, it has this black like rhino liner, really thick textured black finish to it, where this one is just that brass finish that I showed you up close. So let's focus on this one for a minute. So this putter to me screams 1999. And now other people are running around, well what about Scotty Cameron in the Newport 2? Yes, I agree. But for me, when I think of Scotty Cameron, I think more of the uh, the terillium, the terillium, the extraterrestrial copper face that they put on that 1997 putter that I associate with Tiger Woods for some reason in the Masters. I'm not sure if he actually played a terillium or he had another like custom one with a copper face. But for me, that's what I think of, okay, for 97. But 99... The U.S. Open, Pinehurst, come on, Payne Stewart. Yes, to me, the, these are the two big putters of the late 90s. So if you're asking me, well, if you were to build a set with the greatest, great, biggest, big Bertha, titanium, whatever that thing is, or like a big tailor-made bubble two, whatever was available at the time with a nice bright copper, and pick whatever iron set, some you know, forge or whatever, what, what's your dream putter that you would put it with it? It's one of two. It's the Scotty Cameron. Or, equally as defining of an era, this Seymour putter. Why would I not play the Seymour putter? It's absolutely stunning. And, for those of you maybe on a little budget, you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars for a throwback 97 putter, this is available at the making of this video. Price and availability subject to change. You can, you can buy these used for around $60 to $100 depending on condition and stuff, you might spend a little, you could easily spend more than that if you want something like pristine. But this is a great throwback 90s putter. And it really is cool that there's a defining 90s putter. Yes, in a couple of years they came out with the two ball, I get that, all right, but still a really fun putter. So for me, yes, absolutely, 100% put this, I'm keeping these, I kind of collect them, I like them, so they're in my bag. As usual, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Special thanks to my patrons. Another way to support the channel is to visit my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.